हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द अनदर वीडियो ऑफ यूनस अकेडमी फ्रेंड्स टच स्क्रीन्स आर एवरीवेयर वी लिटरली वी आर यूजिंग टच स्क्रीन्स इन एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ अवर लाइफ अवर वेरेबल डिवाइजेस स्मार्ट वॉचेस आर टच स्क्रीन लैपटॉप स्क्रीन्स आर टच स्क्रीन सेलफोन्स टच स्क्रीन टिकट वेंडिंग मशीन्स टच स्क्रीन सी एन सी मशीन्स इट्स लाइक द मॉड्यूल दैट इज ऑल्सो टच स्क्रीन डोमिनोज पिज्जा ऑर्डरिंग सिस्टम टच स्क्रीन्स टच स्क्रीन्स आर इम्प्लीमेंटेड इन एवरी वॉक्स ऑफ अवर लाइफ बात तो सही है सो इट्स वेरी वेरी नेसेसरी टू अंडरस्टैंड द वर्किंग बिहाइंड द टच स्क्रीन्स हाउ डज इट वर्क सो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू अनकवर द वर्किंग ऑफ टच स्क्रीन्स द टच स्क्रीन टेक्नोलॉजी सो फ्रेंड्स इफ यू आर न्यू ओवर यर ऑन माई एजुकेशनल चैनल Engineers Academy kindly subscribe and kindly motivate me because it is extremely free of cost for you and I'll be getting motivated through your subscription so thank you so much friends for subscribing please keep motivating me so let's begin with our today's topic there are two different types of the touch panels that is develop through the years that is resistive displays and capacitive displays resistive kind of the touch screens these are now outdated kind of the touch screens that works basically on the pressure technology you need to apply a certain pressure and the screen will give you the output capacitive technology nowadays this technology is used in all of the smart smart watches all of the smartphones every smartphone that is coming into the market it is having a capacitive kind of the touch display where these touch screens are developed thoroughly after the launching of apple first iphone in 2007 touch screen technology is booming into the market before that apple has released several products like pdas first htc touch screen mobile that is also uh, worked on a in human in, uh, on a touch screen technology friends the first ever touch screen technology that is implemented by mr e a johnson in year 1970 well he was working under the air traffic control of royal radar establishment and he somehow figured out it is a need to have a touch screen surface technology on the systems on those laptop on those computers old age computers so at that time during 1970s during 1970s he developed the need of that and then he first made a capacitive touch panel in those years later a teacher university a teacher at the university of kentucky dr sam horst he invented a touch sensor that works on a resistive technology so friends these two different technologies the first one is the capacitive touch panels and the second one is the resistive touch panels well resistive resistive is somewhat implemented in the early uh, early age from the year of 1990 to 2010 though that was a time for the resistive touch screens you must have seen the chinese smartphones these smartphones are having uh, touch panels that is of the resistive type of the touch panels these two these touch panels is having a glass substrate on the top upon beneath that there are the two different layers there are these two different layers are separated by a conductor that is indium tin oxide ito a thin film of indium which is a transparent film well what happens when a user interacts with the screen when a user you know keeps some pressure on the screen the two layers two different conductive layers make a contact with each other and then that point of contact gets denoted with the help of the resistance there will be a change in resistance so that's why these touch panels is known as the resistive touch technology those change in resistance 
gets denoted through the x and y axis respectively and a then a computer processes that touch and this is how a human gets interacted with the machine with the help of this resistive display resistive touch panel so that was a overall you know construction and working of the resistive touch panels now what are the biggest disadvantages of this resistive touch panels you know multi touch is not possible you cannot do heavy gaming just like pubg on those panels also the ppi the density the pixel per inch the ppi is very low the pixel density is very very low so you cannot get a crisp detailed sharper image on those displays so that's why now 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 nowadays all the smartphones are using this uh, capacitive and not the resistive kind of a technology so so friends moving ahead next is nothing but the capacitive touch screens so if you look at the construction of this capacitive touch screens the glass panel which is there on the top below that glass there is a layer of electron pattern those electron layer pattern that is you know vertically y and horizontally x so that is like a, a, you know just like a graph it is there initially before you know a user touches the display initially it is you know completely electrically charged it works as a capacitor means a charge is present on those of the electron layers whenever a user interacts with the screen whenever a user interacts with the touch panel the some of the charge gets absorbed by the conducting material such as our hand tip of our hand you know some of the electrical charge which is very very minimal which is very very negligible you know that we we cannot even feel that we are getting electric shock through our screen this charge gets absorbed by the you know fingers and then the whole of the capacitance gets disturbed and by using the x and y axis the point of disturbance calculated through the computer through the processor and this is how we will get the final output this is how a person can interact with the capacitive screen the existing layer of the electron gets disturbed over your friends in this capacitive screens there is very big advantage we can do multi touch you know multiple point sensing is you know we we can achieve that with the help of this capacitive touch panels also this particular touch panels are extremely useful and widely popular in the smartphones we can carry out heavy gaming like pubg with the help of this capacitive uh, touch panels so friends this is how a capacitive touch screens works now friends we have seen the resistive touch panels and the capacitive touch panels now what is the difference in between these two so sensitivity when you talk about the sensitivity this capacitive touch screens are extremely sensitive touch responses are very very fast in case of capacitive rather than resistive technology single point of contact multi touch is not possible in case of resistive whereas it is possible in case of capacitive higher crystal and sharper images can be produced with the help of the capacitive touch screens and not with the help of the um, resistive displays but if you talk about the durability the resistive touch panels are extremely durable it can last longer in a you know hazardous conditions with a you know extreme sensitive conditions and the main point is the cost the cost of manufacturing the resistive touch screens is very very cheaper than that of the capacitive touch screens so friends hence if you look at the see the screen the monitor which is there in front of the cnc machine it is always of the resistive touch panel not that the capacitive touch panel since capacitive is extremely costly 
and resistive is not that much costly so it is used in the most of the industrial application where single point single touch is uh, required also friends these resistive touch screens we can interact with the resistive touch screens by putting your gloves on with the help of the gloves with the help of a stylus because basically this resistive technology works on the pressure sensors like pressure inputs is there whereas you, you cannot interact with this capacitive touch screens with your gloves so that's another you know a key point of the resistive uh, touch panel so friends that was a slightly you know represent uh, difference in between resistive and the capacitive for touch panels so friends whenever you interact with any kind of the touch screen panels just remember to check the type of the touch screen panel that it, this uh, particular system is using so that's it for today i hope you like my video if you have any queries any doubts please leave a comment and please do subscribe to my educational engineering channel engineers academy thank you so much friends for watching this video